Hi, and welcome to a new video. Today I am in the beautiful, beautiful Metau Valley. Um, as I announced in the last video, I was going to go on a little trip. And I am here now. It's my second day. And I wanted to uh, explore this hike a little bit that I went on yesterday. Like, sort of. Um, so... It is very snowy here, and the snow is about a meter high, so what is that, like three, four feet, and it is frozen, so you can walk on top of the snow, but I've been here before, and when the temperatures are a little warmer, you can kind of sink in, so it's a little sketch. Um, it's not, the sketch level isn't like go into the cascades and falling into a tree well or falling into a crevasse and be like completely submerged. But I've gotten stuck here up to my thighs and um, it's definitely startling when it happens because you're just walking and all of a sudden you're kind of sinking into the snow. And I mean, it's a little dangerous for sure. You know, you can roll your ankle or maybe even break something. So I definitely have to be extra vigilant. And um, I'm just going to say I wouldn't recommend doing this to anyone. I think it's not really the best idea. And should you do this by yourself um, without anyone there to maybe help you if you do get stuck? No. Am I going to do it anyways? Yes, <laughs> so let's hope for the best and uh, let's pack up and explore a little. brush doesn't go where I live it's so fascinating how fragrant it still is in the winter oh my god I love this this is so amazing okay you guys I did hear a wolf I'm not joking okay that's a crow <laughs> well anyways it's super beautiful isn't it look at that Did you hear it? Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. This is crazy. I've never heard a wolf out. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can see this. Um, this, I think, are actual wolf tracks. Look at my hand next to it. Can you see that? I have relatively small hands, but still. This is a huge paw print. I don't think that's a dog. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
Okay, made it back to the safety of my car. Safety. Um, yeah, this was interesting. It was a cool hike. Um, did not break into the snow or fall into a um, snow hole. I don't know what you would call that. Um, but I did hear a wolf howl. I'm pretty sure this was a wolf. This did not sound... I've, I've been around coyotes plenty. Um, in California and here in Washington, we have many many coyotes they sound very different dogs sometimes do this like yipping and howling too sounds very different too so I don't think that's what I was hearing and another reason why I believe it was a wolf is I saw tracks in the snow that to me looked like wolf again I'm not a professional track reader or anything like that but they were far too big to be uh, dog tracks or coyote tracks they were like I mean yeah I don't know I would say like five inches five six inches so really big paw print um, could be mountain lion but I think if I'm informed correctly when you see mountain lion you do not see the claws so the there were claw tracks visible with the paws under or behind it so I'm pretty sure um, I saw wolf tracks and I heard a wolf. Um, that's definitely new <laughs> to me. I, I wouldn't say I was scared necessarily, although on my hike, because I was by myself, and when you're in the snow, um, there's this crunching noise constantly, so you can't really hear other sounds unless you stand still and you listen. So I did that a bunch, you know, to make sure um, I could hear if somebody or something was creeping up behind me and I would like look around a little bit. So definitely um, different. Let's put it that way. I still am a firm believer that wild animals do not seek out humans. Um, I don't think they want any interaction with us. So I'm not I don't believe that, you know, a wolf would stalk me unless I'm near a den. But again, I'm still fairly close to civilization. Like probably the next town is like 10 miles, 15 miles away. Um, so I don't think they have dens that close to civilization. I think, again, not a wolf expert. This is just what I've read so far and what I think. The hike was beautiful. I mean, I could see the mountains in the distance and the sun kind of glistening on the mountaintops. Um, the sagebrush here, the vegetation is just so different than it is in Western Washington. So um, I love coming here. But anyways, I, I think I'm good on adventuring for now. I was out for for, I don't know, three hours now and um, definitely really hungry. I just had some snacks here, but I want something warm. So I'm going to head back to town. I will see you in a little bit. Mm -hmm.